Hey everyone, and welcome to another short and sweet video brought to you by Chartmetric. Today, we're gonna go over the audience tab of an artist's profile, so let's get into it. So first, simply navigate to the artist profile you're looking for. You can find that via your dashboard table here if you follow the artist already, or you can search for the artist in our search bar. I'll pull up Billie Eilish as today's example. So once you arrive on the artist profile, simply navigate to the audience tab in the left sidebar. This will detail their audience summary across platforms, as well as some important demographic information at the city and country level. So you can see for Billie Eilish, her combined audience size based on all of the metrics and all of the platforms we track is roughly 301 million. And you could see that broken down per platform here, most notably on Spotify, Instagram, YouTube, and TikTok. If you wanted to click into either of these modules here, you'll be sent to a page that gives you more information on the audience per platform, but we'll get into that in a bit. If you scroll below, you can see some audience location information. It's automatically set to top cities for the artist. So here you can see the artist's top cities and metrics per platform in terms of their audience affinity within that city on the platform level. You could tab over and see all of the top cities we have available for the artist. And then also you can toggle between city and country here if you wanted to see the top countries for the artist as well. If you scroll down further, you have some audience demographic information. So this includes gender breakdown and age breakdown, which is very interesting. Also, you have some ethnicity and language information here. So you can see basically who is my audience? What is their, what is the audience makeup of the artist I am or the artist I represent? And how might I be able to use this information to develop a more genuine and more engaged two-way communication between the artist and the audience? And then below that, you have the industry connections table. And this basically depicts impactful social media connections and offers opportunities for two-way communication and perhaps the development of mutually beneficial relationships on social with other artists or other influencers who have a similar reach to you. Now, as I said before, you're welcome to click into each of these platforms to get more information on your audience per platform. And another way to go about doing that is to select the tabs in the left sidebar here per platform. So let's start with Spotify. Here, you can see much more detailed information about Billie Eilish's audience on Spotify. You can see her followers, monthly listeners, playlist reach, playlist count, and the list goes on and on in terms of the amount of metrics we're able to track for her. Below that, you can see some follower trends here. This table depicts how many followers she's getting on Spotify over time. So you can see there's a very consistent and robust growth trend for Billie Eilish, showing that her fans are consistently engaging with her on Spotify and she's reaching more and more people on a daily basis here. Of course, it's important to note that you have different zoom options here. You have a granularity dropdown. You can either decide to include or remove certain career milestones, which would appear on the X axis of the table here. And then of course you have the option to download this as a PNG, or there's other file formats here that are available for you for further offline analysis. If you scroll down further, you have Spotify audience and fan base information. So you could see top listeners per city and per country. And then you can also just see some popularity information more broadly speaking within certain regions. This data comes directly from Spotify, so we're able to ensure accuracy in terms of audience demographics. You have another table here which shows you top countries for the artist and you can hover over the map to see where Billie Eilish's audience is most engaged. For example, in Australia, Australia roughly makes up 5% of Billie Eilish's audience and that's about 3 million monthly listeners. And then of course we have top tracks and albums on Spotify and then the Spotify playlist evolution table, which shows you, am I getting consistent playlist support on Spotify over time? And the list goes on and on. You have a Spotify playlist table, Spotify playlist recommendations, Spotify charts, etc., etc. If you hover over to the TikTok tab, it's a very similar layout where you see summary statistics at the platform level. And then you could see more in-depth information about follower trends, audience demographics, top cities and countries, and here on the social tabs, we have a unique feature here called notable followers. So you can see people who follow Billie Eilish who have notable followings themselves. So this would be an opportunity for endorsements, partnerships, collaborative posts, etc. All of this accumulates in different ways of reaching new audiences and expanding your relationship with your current fans as well. We have a table of top influencers on TikTok. This shows you 
which influencers have been supporting my music most consistently, and in many cases, this is organic support. So before you try to spend a lot of money hiring a TikTok influencer, see who is supporting you already organically. You might be able to develop a more genuine relationship with them and not have to allocate a certain amount of your ad dollars to an influencer who doesn't already support you in that organic and authentic way. This is a quick glimpse into each of these social tabs here. And if you wanna know more information about each of these tabs, simply explore the different tables. And so that's how to make the most of audience information on an artist profile on Chartmetric. Thank you for joining this short and sweet video brought to you by Chartmetric, and I hope to see you next time.